welcome to Being in Touch. During our time together, we will explore how you can experience pain relief at your fingertips. If you are caring for someone experiencing pain or in pain yourself due to a recent injury or a chronic condition, then you are in the right place to explore simple yet effective ways to ease pain and provide comfort. This program is brought to you by the Aging and Integrative Pain Assessment and Management Initiative with funding provided by the Florida Blue Foundation. As someone over 65, I know from both personal and professional experience how debilitating, discouraging, and exhausting it can be to deal with constant pain. Not knowing what to do to relieve your own pain or the pain of someone you love can make a hard situation even more distressing. This is why I teach what I teach, because whether dealing with pain myself, as a family caregiver, or as a University of Vermont integrative practitioner, working with patients, family caregivers, and staff, I have seen time and again how empowering and effective these practices can be. I'm Catherine Cerulli, and I welcome you here. I invite you to explore and discover which of these techniques and practices will work best for you. I invite you to be in touch with yourself, literally and figuratively. I encourage you to deepen your awareness of how you can bring a greater sense of ease into your mind, body, and spirit. So let's begin. Why use touch to relieve pain? Well, touch is our first language. Touch communicates without words. We use touch intuitively to comfort ourselves and others. In our time together, we will practice specific techniques using touch, as well as mindful awareness of our breathing to relieve pain and reduce anxiety. Before we explore the specific techniques, I encourage you to consider what I refer to as the ABCs of compassionate care. Using these ABCs will provide a solid foundation for your practice. Whenever you decide to use one of these techniques I will be teaching you, bring your awareness into the moment, to your attitude, to your body and breath. Like right now, how are you feeling? Is any particular part of your body talking to you? Notice your breathing. Is it shallow or full? And as you breathe, are you aware of your shoulders? Might they be lower than they are right now as you're listening? Bringing your awareness into your body Really checking in with yourself before and after you use these techniques allows you to assess changes in how you feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. When you keep these ABCs in mind while you use these techniques, you will realize you have choices that can make a real difference when caring for yourself and others.
The techniques I'm about to share and demonstrate originate in the ancient Asian healing traditions that have been practiced for thousands of years. And now with advances in science and technology, the effectiveness of these techniques is being tested and clinically proven. We will be working with acupressure, which is basically light touch on specific points on the body's surface designed to restore balance and harmony within the body, mind, and spirit. Jinchen Jitsu is a Japanese healing art utilizing both finger holds and acupressure points. Emphasis is upon mindful breathing and a compassionate awareness. The overall intention of acupressure is to restore a sense of well being in the body. This is done by stimulating these particular points that are supporting our nervous systems to reset. This enables us to shift out of the fight or flight mode to the rest and digest mode. When this shift occurs, we often experience a reduction in pain anxiety, and feel a greater sense of well-being. In these traditions, the energetic pathways linking the skin surface to the internal organs are referred to as meridians. As you can see from this illustration, these pathways run throughout the body. For simplicity's sake, let's imagine these pathways as our hidden electrical system and that these specific key points, those are the dots on the illustration, are the surface fuses. When these points are stimulated with our fingers as an acupressure or with needles as an acupuncture, our fuses are being reset, if you will, and the body is being supported to function optimally. Although these quote fuses are referred to as acupoints and are located all over the body, we will be focusing on the easiest and most inconspicuous ones to support. That is those points that are in our hands. I say inconspicuous, because you can easily use these calming and pain relieving techniques anywhere. While you're waiting in a doctor's office, riding in a car, or watching a favorite show. No one will be aware of the fact that you are giving yourself a self care session. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to consider doing just this. You can easily incorporate this method of pain relief throughout the day naturally. You don't necessarily have to set aside a specific time of day or amount of time to use these techniques. Although some folks like to do that, begin or end the day using this, these techniques, you can also just use them anytime as you sit or lie down as needed throughout your day. Experiment and notice what works best for you. The benefit of regularly using these techniques is cumulative. So let's begin with an acupressure hand massage. This technique will also create ease, not only in your hands, but in your arms and shoulders because we're gonna be stimulating acupressure points on these meridian lines that travel up and down your arms and into your neck and shoulders. I will explain how to do this with this slide and then invite you to practice along with me in the accompanying video. We begin by just flexing our hands and bringing our awareness to the sensations there. We're going to be doing this at the beginning and the end to assess what we notice. After flexing your fingers, 
you will begin with small compressions on the sides of the fingers from the base of the finger to the base of the nail. I generally recommend doing this three to five times. Then you massage gently in the webs between the fingers. I usually stretch my fingers out and after the fingers are all completed, the palm is massaged. Now, why don't we just shift to the video and do this together? Let's practice the acupressure hand massage together. First, we flex our hands. Notice how one hand is feeling compared to the other. And then we start by heading to the base of the finger and doing little compressions to the base of the nail. We do this at least three times. And then give your finger a little twist. And then we're going to work into the web between the fingers. Little squeezes, little compressions. And on to the next finger. Compression all the way down to the base of the nail. Again, and I would do this with my hands in my lap. I wouldn't be holding my hands up like I am to demonstrate for you and relax your hand so that as you're doing this, it's a very comfortable thing to do. This is how it would look to me if I was doing it for myself. Work down, fingers. These meridian lines in general are running up and down the fingers. We go up and down the arm. Twist to the web. The amount of pressure you use is really up to you. You want it to be a feel good kind of pressure, not squeezing so hard that it hurts. And if you were doing this for anybody else, you would always check in with them and ask them, how's that pressure? Is that strong enough? Is it too strong? Last web. I would probably even do this more slowly if I was doing it just for my own self-care purposes of this demonstration, I'm maybe going a tad faster than I would normally. After you get all done with your fingers, just give them a good stretch, stretch them out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is starting at the base of the palm, we're gonna slide our finger right up, our thumb right up to the each finger in succession. I'll show you this way. It's a little better to do it with my palm up then doing it like this is a little awkward. Find the way though that, that feels best to you. So you just really are massaging the palm, the base up to the fingers. A few times and then you can even just do some in the center. And now just notice how your hands feel. Again, flex one, then flex the other. Do you notice any difference? For some people, it actually changes some of the coloration in their hand. They'll see their hand looks pinker and just um, looks like it feels better. <laughs> so I hope that you find this acupressure hand massage so useful to you as you address pain. Um, I also always suggest that you do both hands because having one hand feel so flexible and this one feeling so stiff um, is not so pleasant. So if you can, do both hands every time you do this. Jin Shin Jitsu finger holds are another simple yet powerful self-care technique. 
I invite you to do this along with me. Wrap the fingers of one hand around any finger on the other hand. For this practice session, it doesn't matter which hand or finger you choose. As you hold this finger, you will drop your shoulders and exhale through your mouth. It's been found that exhaling through the mouth provides extra relaxation benefit. And for even greater benefit, try this. As you inhale, lift the corners of your mouth slightly as if you were going to smile. Studies have shown that the physical act of smiling signals the brain to release those feel-good chemicals known as endorphins. These can also boost the effectiveness of this technique to induce relaxation. So let's do this together. You've got your fingers wrapped around the finger of your choice and smile slightly as you inhale and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Let's do this three times. Okay, here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Remember to drop your shoulders each time we exhale. Let's do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Smile slightly as you inhale. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Each time you exhale, try to drop your shoulders even more and maybe even exhale a bit longer. Now I suggest doing this at least three to five times. Of course, you can always do it more if you like, if it's feeling good to you. Oftentimes you will notice after just a few exhalations, you'll spontaneously release a big sigh and drop your shoulders even more. This is indicative of the relaxation response. If you wanted to give yourself what I call a full body tune-up, then I would suggest holding each finger on each hand in succession as you exhale three times with each finger. When I do this in the morning before I get out of bed, it takes me about 10 minutes with three breaths per finger. It's a great way to start the day knowing that you've actually supported all these different meridians that run to and from your hands. For those of you who are curious, each finger is associated with supporting different meridians and organs. There is said to be a correlation between the emotions and physical symptoms over time. Now we all feel these emotions, but it's only when we get really stuck in them that they start resulting in physical symptoms like stomach upsets with worry or headache pain with anger and frustration. From the Jin Shin Jitsu perspective, these are the emotions harmonized with each finger. By that, I mean, it just helps us move through those emotions and not hang on to them. All of these are self-explanatory, except for the little finger. The trying twos represent the emotion we feel when we're pushing ourselves too hard. When we are saying yes, when we really want to say no or when we're pretending that we feel one way when we actually feel another way. So if you wanted to approach using your fingers 
as a way to move through some emotional issues that seem to be contributing to your physical pain, you could refer to this chart and work with the finger, which supports you to release that emotional energetic block. Now, it's not necessary to memorize which fingers are associated with each emotion. From my experience, most folks intuitively select the finger that will give them the most comfort and release. However, if you do want to remember these, you can use this memory aid that uses the first letters of each of the words. Get rid of worry fast. I hope you enjoy using these finger holds to help you relieve pain and relax your body. We will now focus upon three acupoints that have been shown to be effective at relieving pain and reducing anxiety and tension. I will describe their locations and use with these slides. And then with the video that follows, I will demonstrate how to locate and use them so we can practice together. The first point is known as large intestine four. Many people have heard that the web between the thumb and index finger is used to relieve headache pain. And that's true. It can also relieve tension and pain in the face, teeth, and neck. Now, large intestine four is actually a specific point on the highest point of the muscle when the thumb and index fingers are brought close together. Once you find this point and direct the pressure into the point under the junction between the bones, you'll know you're in the right spot. And actually this point can be quite tender. Just press into it comfortably as you exhale. And you release it and repeat. And as with all these points, bring your awareness to that long, slow exhalation by mouth. Dropping your shoulders as you exhale, and smiling slightly on the inhale. Now this point is contraindicated for pregnant women as it can induce labor. And though those of us over a certain age need not worry about that, I offer this caution in case you wanna share the use of this point with a daughter, niece, or granddaughter. The next point, known as pericardium eight, is typically used to calm anxiety and also relieve tension and stress. Because when we feel stressed and tense, our experience of any pain is heightened. Thus, if we can relieve some tension, we can effectively reduce our sense of pain. To locate this point, we make a fist and note where the middle fingertip touches the center of the palm. With one hand under the other, we place the thumb of the bottom hand in the center of the upper hand palm and slowly exert light pressure as you exhale. You can also massage this in a circular motion. And typically I would say do it for one or two minutes. This next point, heart seven, is similar in effect to pericardium eight. This point is often used to address anxiety, worry, stress, and insomnia. Now I encourage you to explore both pericardium eight and heart seven and see which provides you the most sense of ease in the moment. It may change from time to time, time, depending on what you're experiencing. At times, you may find you just want to use pericardium aid. 
other times, you're drawn to the relief of using heart seven. There's no right or wrong on this. It's your body telling you what you need. So to locate this point, we're gonna find the hollow under the radial wrist bone. And we press into the point steadily for several minutes while focusing on those long, slow exhalations by mouth, dropping our shoulders and remembering to smile a little bit when you inhale. As you grow familiar with using these points, you may begin to notice others who are holding these points intuitively to support the release of tension in their body. I find it interesting to notice how often I see people either holding their outer wrist or rubbing the center of their palm. Whether we are conscious of what we're doing, intuitively, we all seek to comfort ourselves and others through touch. So let's practice finding and using these acupoints in the video that follows. So now we are going to locate the three acupoints that we just reviewed. The first point is large intestine four. And I'm gonna bring my hands close to the screen so you can see where I'm locating these points as clearly as possible. So large intestine four is between the thumb and the index finger. And I suggested bringing them together and squeezing and you can see this muscle pops up right there. And that's the point. It's way up into the web and underneath the bone there, you can feel into that point. You can hold that with your index finger. Some people like to hold it with their thumb. Just do whatever feels most comfortable to you with the amount of pressure that feels right. You can feel around to decide how that works best. But as you do it, you know, I would just rest your hands comfortably in your lap and just again, focus on your exhalation as you hold that point. You could release it and do it again. And I would do these little compressions, you know, for a minute or two, how long you hold and then release is really up to you. Just allow your body to guide you to what feels right. So that's large intestine four. The next point was the point in the center of the palm that I refer to as pericardium eight. You find it by just closing your fists and noticing where your third finger, your middle finger comes down into the center of the palm. And again, you can hold it with your thumb or your index finger. I generally do it with my thumb and just hold my hands like this when I do it. You can do it this way. And you're just, again, exerting a little bit of pressure as you sit there and exhale, dropping your shoulders. Inhale with a little smile and exhale and just feel the tension melt away. The last acupressure point is referred to as heart seven. It's on the heart meridian. And again, I'm gonna bring my uh, wrist up so you can see it's right under this bone. Um, sometimes I suggest finding it by just wiggling your wrist and then just going into that little hollow. And this, this point can also be kind of tender as well. So again, I would hold it. Um, I'd use my index finger and just hold it like this as you breathe. Inhaling fully, dropping your shoulders and letting that tension and anxiety melt away. And that's how to locate those three acupoints. I hope you find them useful. For those of you who would like to learn more and get a sense of some of the research I've been referring to, you can check out these studies and articles. In addition, below on this PAMI website page, you will find downloadable instructions as a ready reminder of what you've learned today. It also includes a list of books I recommend as resources if you would like to learn more about acupressure.
thank you for joining me in this exploration of specific ways you can literally be in touch with yourself and with others. I encourage you to use the ABCs of compassionate care to create a foundation for relieving pain. I encourage you to be curious. Notice which of these acupressure techniques give you the most relief depending upon the day's circumstances. And I encourage you above all to continue to deeply exhale, drop your shoulders and smile as you increase your ability to manage pain and anxiety. On behalf of PAMI and the Florida Blue Foundation, we thank you for participating in this session. Check out the wealth of resources they offer by using the contact information on this page.